are sitting there going, this is not going to be nice. So you walk out of the back door. Ladies and gentlemen, please drive to the invitation given by Captain Robert A. Moore, traveling for United States Navy. Let us pray. Almighty Father, whose command is over all, and whose love never fails. Thank you for your holy presence in this place. As we begin this formal change of command ceremony, it is right for us to follow with great, grateful hearts, thanking you for your constant watch care over us and those we love. We are grateful for the opportunity to carry on time honored traditions such as these. Today, as we ship a few minutes past from Lieutenant General Adinan to Lieutenant General Worth, we express our deepest gratitude to you for Lieutenant General Adinan and his leadership. Under his guidance, the warriors of two men have excelled. We ask you to continue blessings on him and his future endeavors. We also welcome Lieutenant General Worth. Again, thank you for your blessing upon him. Under his leadership, the Marines and Senators of 2 will continue to set the bar high in all they do. Thank you for the gifts you bestowed upon each of these leaders. May they continue to draw upon those strengths in your might to care for your people and lead with confidence as they face new challenges and the opportunities that come with his execution orders. May the honor and all that's done here this day. In your most holy name I pray. Amen. Please be seated. Present day Marines in the Marine Corps have their basis in both history and tradition. The mass formation of troops on one long line at close interval made possible the massing of firepower from the muzzle loaded muskets of yesterday. In those early days, the line of battle was just that a line of two or three ranks that look much like the parade formation you will see today. The adjutant formed the line for battle. The adjutant for today's ceremony is Lieutenant Colonel Augustine Ariola. Senior Enlisted Leader, 
United States Sergeant Commander, Sergeant Major Deputy, Sergeant Major Midnight, Sergeant Major Vargas, Sergeant Major Kirk, Sergeant Major Necco, Sergeant Major Elena Rodriguez, Sergeant Major McKenna, retired, Sergeant Major Hemsworth, retired, Sergeant Major Holmesford, retired, Sergeant Major Travis, retired, Sergeant Major Thurber, retired, Sergeant Major Tullis, retired, Command Master Chief Mary, Mary, Command Master Chief Leah Saw Bolton, Command Master Chief Johnson, Command Master Chief Cox, retired, Mr. Davis, Swansboro, Mayor of Swansboro, Mr. Thomas, Hansel County Sheriff, Mr. Leonard, Cocktail Alderman, Mr. Brown, Office of Congressman of Ray Murphy, Mr. Schumacher, Office of Senator Ty Ted Bunn, Mr. Overbrook, Office of Senator Tom Phillips. At this time, we would like to thank the community leaders and organizations they represent who have generously supported the Marines and Sailors and families of this command.
Please be seated.
shorter walk for me now, so right short. <laughs> welfare all the way. <laughs> Come on up, fellas. It's going to go right here under under sh uh, shelter.
thank the band, thank the Marines and the Corps the Marine Formation, thank the working party after we leave, because we're always changing. And the only thing that is constant for us is change. We're an adaptable force, and we're constantly modifying ourselves from the wheel to build a lift to our first piece operations. Over, and uh, we're going to hear from our incoming and our outgoing commanding generals. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for honoring us with your presence today, and thanks for allowing us to get our troops safely off the field. I know they would have loved to have marched in formation in front of you because they practiced all week and they were sharp, they were ready. But troop welfare, mission accomplishment, we're still accomplishing the mission while we're providing troop welfare. And when you can do that, you do that. Sometimes you can't do that. Mission accomplishment comes first. But we're not in combat today, so we're not going to lose a Marine for a lightning strike. And we're not going to lose any of you to a lightning strike. So everybody's going to be careful when they hustle back to their cars. <laughs> but to Dave and Diana, fair winds following seas. Cal, what can I say? You're going to bring it on. So you and Lisa are going to be a great team. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You're right. So, so I'm going to be brief here. Uh, I had actually, uh, there's an over-under on this thing. Some of you had bets going. Vegas is going to lose some serious money. Because everybody's worried how long this was going to go. It was going to go on for hours. I know was going to run a suck. And Cal was going to run a suck. And we'd be here all day. <laughs> you lost. <laughs> Distinguished guests. And there are many of them here. Community leaders, Marines. Sailors and family and friends, thank you for being here this morning and thank you for honoring 2 Meth. That represented 37,000 plus Marines and Sailors, that represented our civilian Marines, and that represented all of the things that we do with our partners with the installations, Marine Corps installation teams. And it's a fantastic team to be a part of. And, and while I would sit here all day long and try to individually recognize you as that old cliche saying goes, oh, we'd be here all day, we would. There's way too many people. So, so thank you for being here. Listen, I'm gonna break a little tradition here too. I've already privately thanked my family, my wife, my children. I'm gonna spare you the details. Just rest assured I'm retiring and plenty of time to express my gratitude to my wife and my children. Trust me, coming on, uh, Miss Trish, thank you. I know you are as proud of this meth as I am. And Diane and I uh, want to express our deepest appreciation to you both. The friendship that we've enjoyed these many, many years has been very special to both of us. And sir, I am most thankful for the last couple of years as my ACMAC and now my comedy. And I have had the great honor, I can say I've had the great honor to serve on Joe Smith. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it very much. Um, a couple of things really quick. Uh, I've also, you know, again, to be brief, I have thanked my staff, my commanders, their sergeant majors, their senior leaders. I've taken that time to do that. Those young Marines out there in the field, uh, it, it is a group of professionals that I have just had the pleasure to be a part and surrounded by. All stars, every one of them, who just have the knack to make the hard look effortless. And it really was something to watch. So I, I, again, thank you so much to those, those individuals. Um, we like to say here in the Carolina MAGTAF that if you're looking for a premier crisis response force, look no further than here in North Carolina, Chip. Yes. <laughs> We, uh, we represent about a third of the operating force of the Marine Corps, but we cover down on two-thirds of the globe. I mean, this morning, Todd Bahar and the 24th Marine Expeditionary Unit that is Special Operations Capable is on station in the EMED. Commandant mentioned 
The Second Marine Expeditionary Brigade is taking up their watch as Task Force 612 under the 6th Fleet in the Mediterranean. There are Marines and sailors operating in the Pacific. They're in the theater, the European theater. They're on the continent of Africa, and they're in the Middle East. And when we're not deployed, we're training. We train every day to fight our nation's battles. We train hard. I guarantee you today in the Carolinas, there are Marines that are training to hone their craft. And if they're not here, there are 29 Palms. Second Marine Regiment, Elements of the Law, and the MLG are conducting our premier exercise out there in Mojave Viper. I must see Mojave Viper, but the Mojave Desert. But well, that's an old one, right, Chip? <laughs> It's just incredible of what they do. We have a saying, you'll see it on the billboard, come to fight, come to win. That's two math. It has been awe-inspiring to watch these men and women generate forces, deploy forces, operate at a tempo that would make others weary at the sight of it. Fixed, maintained aircraft, fly aircraft, fixed, maintained, operate equipment. But for me personally, it has just been amazing to watch the growth, the maturity, the lethality, the professionalism, the resilience of our Marines, which is truly our most valuable, most valuable weapon. It has been amazing to see these young Americans do God's business for us as a nation. I rest easy, I will rest easy at night knowing that this formation is prepared to do our nation's bidding. And I can assure you that you should rest easy as well. Cal, real quick here, man. My next door neighbor, my next door neighbor, uh, congratulations to you both. Uh, I, I echo the sentiments of our commandant. Uh, if you were talking Carolina Magtap, go back and look at his bio. I mean, there's, I think there's a street going to be named called North Ave somewhere back off of Google. Uh, the rest of, you know, the, the gang that we've all served with. But, but, this, uh, but this leader right here uh, is really the next step. And uh, holy cow, we're just so proud to be here this morning, to see you get promoted, to be a part of that, to stand next to you. I'm always in the phone. I'm a phone call away. If you ever need anything, I'll come answer. So, ladies and gentlemen, again, uh, modified uh, change of command, unique one for me. Call it on one we go. Thank you very much for being here. I look forward to seeing you at the reception across the street at the Had Not Point Event Center, brand new. I think we're the first ones to use it. I look forward to shaking your hands over there and getting a chance to say hello and say thank you. I remain. Something for those. All right. Commandant, I'll start with you, sir, uh, and Trish. Thank you for the trust and confidence. We've already talked about the two Marine Expeditionary Force and all that's been done here this morning. So my comments will be brief. They will be brief. Thank you for the trust and confidence. Dave, Diana, thank you for building a team. Thank you for investing so heavily, personally and professionally, and making sure that this map is fully prepared to go anywhere at any time under any conditions and fight and win. That's what we do here in this expeditionary force. Thank you to all the mentors that are represented here. Too many distinguished guests, so many leaders and mentors who I've crossed paths with, worked for, worked with, and learned from over 33 years. Your investment, your investment is what I keep front of mind every day. I commit, fully commit, to carrying on and carrying forward what this map has done and moving in the direction the Commandant needs us to move in and continue to be prepared for anything that happens. Not the if, but the when this force is committed 
to combat. That's what we do. The war fighting mindset, being unwaveringly focused on our mission, and then committing fully to the Marines, the sailors, and our enlisted, our civilian teammates who make this machine run. They make it hum. Commandant, we don't know exactly what lies ahead of us in the years ahead. But what we do know is that the world remains an uncertain place. And this map that has a global responsibility, and this map that is your crisis response option, we'll be ready to go. Come to fight, come to win is not just a moniker. It is what we do and what we're committed to on a daily basis. And with our allies and our partners in the high north and across the Mediterranean and into the other combat commanders, we'll be fully committed. To my family, to the dear friends who represent 50 years of friendship and relationships both in and out of uniform, you honor us with your presence. And as the rain begins to tap on the rooftop here on the pavilion, coming out, we're moving forward, we're moving out. We, myself, Lisa, and the Marines of your two Marine Expedition Force are ready to go. Semper Fidelis. Hurrah. Hurrah.